to? Good morning. My name is Cliff Brown, and I'd like to demonstrate a device that I have now in my backyard, but tomorrow we're going to take it out to an island and put it in the ocean. My hope is that this device can illustrate how somebody can transfer usable energy from ocean waves to shore so that we can generate electricity or do other things on shore. Imagine that the weight that you see in this uh, before me here is attached by a cable to a 50 gallon drum that goes up to the surface of the ocean. We're going to put this in about two meters of water and the steel arm that I'm holding on to now will be underwater. It is part of a teeter-totter device that we can show you now. At the base of it there's this steel basket that we're going to fill with sand to be an anchor. Our hope is that that will simply stay in place. And you can see that both ends of this, I call it a teeter-totter, are joined by a steel cable. The steel cable goes up over one of the ends and it will proceed on to the beach. There's really no limit to the distance that we can extend this cable except for the weight of the cable itself. But 3,000 feet of this particular cable, which has a breaking strength of about one ton, 3,000 feet of the cable weighs about 80 pounds. So this weight, being about 100 kilos, uh, is going to keep this, this cable tight, even if I have to have half a mile of it before I reach the beach. In fact, I don't think we're going to need more than about two or 300 yards of it. Now we're going to stop now and show you the device that's going to be on shore. Now you're getting another view of the anchor, so you get a different perspective on how it's going to work. I'm going to start it moving now, and Galula will show you the, the wire. But if we can direct the camera back to the basket now, you can see the weight that's going up and down. Now if you look over in this direction, you can see what we're going to put on shore tomorrow. Right now this weighs about 100 kilos, and if I move 100 kilos about 4 feet, that represents almost a kilowatt of energy. A kilowatt physically is represented by 740 pounds that moves 1 foot in 1 second. Well, I'm guessing as to the speed of the swells right now, but I think that this thing may end up rising and falling approximately at the speed that I'm now lifting it. Right now, these weights, both the one out there at the end of the arm and this one, are about the same. When we actually put it in the water, the weight in the water will be heavier so that when this thing comes up, it's still coming up with some force that we can capture in a different device that I'm not showing you right now. But if all we do tomorrow is get this weight to bob up and down, we're going to demonstrate that the forces that are out there in the ocean, in the form of waves, can be brought to shore. People could do any number of things with these weights on shore. In Africa, they might want to pound corn into flour, or rice into flour. They might want to pump water. In our case, we're going to spin a flywheel, hopefully, and generate some electricity with it. But as I said, the cable that I'm using here can extend a considerable distance because it has a very high breaking strength and it doesn't weigh very much. So the weight that's on shore will be going up and down to correspond to the movement of the waves themselves. So that, in a, in a nutshell, is the concept. The cost of the material here, as I say, is far less than devices that are now attracting very serious commercial investment. So my hope is that if we can scale this up, people will see that the economies of scale are, are, are favorable to generating power at an attractive cost. So we'll show you the next clip, hopefully tomorrow when we get this thing in the water. And maybe the weights that I'm hanging on to now, or perhaps uh, the cement slab down there on the end of that arm, is what I'm going to be holding on to on the beach tomorrow. We'll see if it works.